What is going on guys, it is Arts here and welcome to a new video and today we're on Vencilio. It is back, better than ever, and the owner is actually a friend of mine, yeah, his name is Shaq. He is one of the nicest owners I think I've ever met, like he's actually a really nice guy. I've, to I've spoke to him quite a few times, me and few both. He's actually really kind and I think the server has potential and the owner actually, you know, he listens, you know. So if you guys have suggestions, make sure to tell them what you want and so on. But yeah, we're going to get straight into the, the server. I'm going to show you guys what's going on and what it is. For those of you who don't know what Vincello is, otherwise, if you already know what it is, you, mean, you may as well check it out. The link is in the description. But for those of you who've never seen it before or are interested, let's get straight into it. All right, so for those of you who don't know, the server actually just released like yesterday or a day ago or something. I don't even know. It's really, really new and there's not that much players on right now. So the eco is fresh. So those of you who want to get on and start earning your banks, you know, just may as well hop on and get straight to it. Try, try to be the richest in the game. But currently, as you can see in my bank, it's it's not really like I'm not keeping any of this, obviously. It's just for the video so I could show you guys some certain things I couldn't or I wouldn't be able to show without. So yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to keep this Ellie though. What the heck? Of course I'm going to keep an Ellie. No, I'm just kidding. But we also have 100 mystery boxes I do want to open for you guys. Um, I might... Uh, I'll save it for the end though, obviously. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But let's go and show you guys some of the bosses, some teleports, you know, just what, uh, the usual stuff. Let's go. So for those of you who want to make your account more secure away from hackers and stuff, so if you do get hacked, it'll be protected. You just come to this guard over here, which is actually pretty cool. And you just, you know, you could get bank pin, you know, stuff like that. Manage forms account. You could get pet insurance here too. So bank pin would be a good idea for anybody who wants one, obviously. I'm not going to do it because ICBA. But yeah, that's really awesome. Then you have the donator store right here. As you can see, there's three different shops. The first shop, you got just some fashion scape stuff. Got the Easter basket. The Easter basket always looks really awesome. I'm not sure how much credits is each, like, equivalent to a dollar. So sorry about that. Uh, you got all your basic Slayer gear in here, which is really cool, so that's awesome that those could be, like, there could be more of those in the Eco, so it's easier to get for you guys. And then all the rares, obviously. You got the Sled, which is really cool. The Black Party yet. Damn, that's awesome. Alright. Okay, so they do actually have Bounty Hunter on here, guys, so if you do enjoy PKing, you could find targets and find out where your Wilderness targets, I guess, are easier by coming over to this Emblem Trader, trade him, and then... Uh, there's all where you cash in your emblems for rewards and such. You got the Ceridomes tier. It's basically just like the old school shop. I'm sure they're open to suggestions of what to add in here though, but yeah, looks pretty cool. Nonetheless, let's get into the next clip. For those of you who enjoy being up here and if you accidentally got two defense once in your life, then you come over to this genie and in no problem you could reset one of your combat stats for one mil. So that's pretty cool in case you ac accidentally get two defense, you know, you don't have to ask like somebody to reset it for you, you just simply pay a mill, it does help the eco as well, so that's always nice. Alright, so enough with the shops, we're just going to get straight into everything. As you can see, I have a max cape right now, that's only because for the video obviously, but you can see you start over here if you want to start off the, the game properly, you know, get 99 thieving maybe if you plan on going for a max cape, because this will give you GP for everything you need in the future. That is the owner right there by the way, Ju. What a nice young lad. Alright, so you could start thieving these uh, these stalls here. This is the best one, I believe. It, it ranges from the right to the left, so you could start off with that and then move your way towards the left as you get the levels, and then you simply sell to this guy, and boom. Yep. They make skilling really easy for you, as you can see. You can just simply, if you want to train runecrafting, you already get the, you get the pure essence. You come trade this guy, get your talisman, and start teleporting to the places, as you can see. You're basically back, and you can also use the Abyss, obviously, so you won't really need the Talisman, but there you go. You could um, go to the Essence Mine to start mining your Pure Essence as well. So they made skilling quite easy, and it's it's still hard, obviously, and it makes it so, like, say you go to Zolor and you kill Zolor and you get some drops there, like Rune Ore or something. It's obviously still valuable, and it makes Zolor pro very profitable, so that's always a plus one. So you come over here to the Slayer Master, you trade him, this is what you could get with your Slayer Points, I believe. Is it points? Yes, yeah, Slayer Points. You could get your Slayer Ring here, your Slayer Helmet, you get your Crystal Shield, your Crystal Bow. I feel like getting the Crystal Bow from here as an Iron Man early on would be really good for slaying Zolra. You got your Fighter's Hat, your uh, Bee Gloves actually, which is pretty cool. I've never seen someone actually put Bee Gloves in a, in a Slayer store. That's actually kind of smart to be honest. Same with the Torso. That's actually really smart. So. Now I'm going to actually show you guys some of the bosses. I'm sure you guys are bored of the shops already. I've showed you enough. So let's go show you some bossing and then we're going to open these mystery boxes. 
Oh yeah, one thing I completely forgot to like show you guys, they actually have a money pouch right here. So as you can see, add to pouch, boom, 52 mil in my money pouch. I don't know how I forgot to show you guys that, but that's really cool. A lot of servers don't have money pouches nowadays. I don't know why or what the reason is, but they actually have it on here, which is pretty cool as you can see. And then you can simply withdraw it, 42 mil, even though it's 52 mil, and boom, you got it, and then boom, back in. I got actually I have to click that. There we go. And you're you're on the rebuild basically. Alright, so you have your classic teleport system as old private servers do. Nowadays everyone's trying to perfect old school servers, so this one, you know, it's it's an actual private server, you know, it's it's more fun it's just it's more like simple. So you go to your quest your spellbook tab and you have all your teleports here. You have your PvP teleports. Obviously we're gonna go to PVM teleports and see what we got going on here. King Black Dragon, Sea Troll Queen, Barrel Chest, Corporal Beast. Giant Mole, Chaos Elemental, Scorpia, Callisto, they got all the Wilderness Bosses, a lot of Wilderness Bosses, that's actually really cool. They have Zora. I want to kill Zora, but I, I, I don't have any food and I, I'm not sure which shop you actually buy that from. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to Venonas, or Venonas. We're gonna try and do an Arbital kill. Let's try, screw it. Alright, the moment of truth, I actually don't know if you need kill count or not. Um, I guess I'll find out. I don't know, let's see. Rip my life. You actually need kill count. I guess that's good though. That, that's a good thing. That, that makes it so, it prevents it from inflating, or inf inflating? In, in, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Let's go do a siege roll queen. As I was saying, it, it keeps it from, from like, bringing too many items in the eco, obviously. We'll kill one of these and see what happens. I guess this is like, the second version of Kraken? I don't know. I don't know ex if this is even like an actual NPC. I've seen it on a lot of private servers before. I just, I always thought it was a remake of Kraken, but I mean, it, I, I'm assuming it is a quest, a quest NPC, but they actually do have regular Kraken as well, so I guess we'll find out. What can you even get from this? Let's see. Oh my god, I hit a 30 when I took off my prayer. 25 magic hogs, so it actually does drop some cool rewards. Killed another just for fun. Let's see what happens. Or a spiritual mage is found. Answer God Wars. I don't know if it's God Wars Dungeon. Oh, just God Wars works. There we go. 80k. So, yeah, as you can see, the trivia works. We just got 33 mithril ore. So, I guess this gives a ton of skilling supplies, which is pretty cool. There you go. As you can see, trivia works. That's awesome. Let's go and open these mystery boxes now. I, I I could show you guys more bosses, but I'm sure you guys all know how they work and like how they're done. But as you can see, all the items are working. They have every item on here, like all the old squad items and such as well. Yeah, your Ellie and Armasibo. That just looks so nice. I wonder who's going to get the first Ellie in game. You got the Armadil um, God Sword and such. As you can see, the server really isn't pay to win, by the way. They really are against that, so obviously they're not in it completely for the money. Obviously, it's nice to profit, but there you go. You got all this stuff. You got... Who's he, is he talking to me? I don't know. See, obviously, it's not pay to win. They could throw in, like, 28 armadillo god swords and, like, every item possible in the game. Like, all the Cerberus boots. You know, you get the gist. It's not pay to win. Alright, so I was asking about the drop tables so we could see what the Sea Troll Queen actually drops. And there is a drop table here. I'm going to pause the recording because I don't know if it's going to open up a new a browser or if it's going to open up an interface. Okay, it's an interface. Okay. So let's search C Troll. We're just going to search that and see if it pops up. C Troll Queen. Let's see what its rare drops are. Oh, it drops Onyx, Dragon Axe, and Dragon Pickaxe. That's pretty unique. It doesn't say what the actual drop rate is. It just says it's very rare. Interesting, so we got common drops, obviously, from our kills. That's cool. Let's try Serb. I guess that's not on there. Let's try, I don't know, Chaos LA, maybe? Chaos Elemental. So you got the pet, Elite Clue Scroll, Dragon Pick. D <laughs> a Dragon Dagger is a rare. Oh, I'd be spewing so much salt if I were to get that. The Fanatic, you got your shards, you know, the, the, the usual. So that, that makes sense, that makes sense. Let's try one more. Let's try Corp. Let's just see what Corp does. I already know what it drops, but you know, just, just, let's see. Holy crap. So, all this is the same rate? Oh my. Getting a, a spirit shield might be tough. So that, that gives spirit shields in general a nice price. Same with the blessed spirit shields, holy elixir, everything. That's cool. And Scorpio, obviously. Yep. Alright. 
looting bag. I want that. That's it. That just seems really rare on here. That's cool, though. All right, let's go open these mystery boxes. The video's getting quite long now. I don't want to make it too long for you guys, but let's let's open it. Let's see what we get. I'm, I'm curious of what we could possibly get from these. We'll do 20 at a time. That's five in inventories. Oh. It's, it already yelled it. We got a black sand on our fourth one. That must be insanely rare. Jesus Christ. KQ head. Got a casket easy. Let's open that. Okay, interesting. Get a bunch of tomes, which I believe just, yeah, they just give you loads of XP. That's crazy. Alright, let's open up some more. Good luck us again. Hopefully we can get another one that announces. That'd be pretty cool. So far, so... Oh, we got a bond. Oh, it gives 10 credits. Oh, that's awesome. So it gives you credits to use in the donator shop. That's in, that's really got... Oh, Addy bars, what the... That's really interesting, though. That's unique. To get from mystery boxes, anyways. What the... F Talk to monkey. Drop monkey, maybe? What? Well, what do you do with this thing? Drop and lose forever. I'm dropping it. Oh, rip monkey. So does that happen if you drop anything? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Got an abyssal head. You know, that's not the kind of head I was expecting after making this video, but okay, I'll take it. Kappa. Let's see. Ooh, bunny feet, that's rare, just announced as well. Casket easy. Getting a bunch of easy caskets. No elites yet or anything. I don't know if you can get them. Alright, last inventory. Let's see what we get. Oh. I believe. I think you can use. What is this? Light chain. I th can you. Do I have a chisel? Tell me we have a chisel. Chisel. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't know what it does. Okay, well, if, I thought it, I remember from Jamie and server on Dark Asylum, you could use this, a chisel on it, and it would turn it into like a random Zolar drop. But I guess, I don't, I don't know what it's used for on here. Okay, well, interesting, I guess. <laughs> oh, we just got an unstrung heavy ballista. Insane. Who's the commander, community manager for Vincillo? Oh, come on, guys. That, that's an easy answer. It's Fube, Kappa. All right, let's see. All right, well that's everything from the mystery boxes. Got some decent loot, I guess. That guy just got, f you could vote for five crystal keys. Do we have crystal keys? I think we got some from our boxes, actually. Yeah, we have six, let's open these. We'll see where this guy goes. He's gonna take me to these keys, hopefully. Nope, he's getting a slayer task. Where's, where's the chest? I'll find it in a sec. All right, here's the C key chest. We have six of them. And let's see what we get. 1K. Uncut Emerald. Dragon Skimmy. So this would be good for Iron Man. To get your Dragon Skimmy, I guess. Opening these. Maybe voting for Crystal Keys on an Iron Man. Oh my god, he's got an Onyx. I wonder how rare that is. Onyx, lol. How rare is that? That's, I feel like that's really rare. Rip RNG. What the heck? They have a music cape? That's really cool. Untrim? No, I don't want to do that. Let's wear it. Ah, uh, X-Beast. Alright, let's go do our outro. By the way, he did say it was really rare, so rip RNG on that, but nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy. Look at that cape. Leave a like if you guys did, and make sure to join the server. The link is in the description. It's in the rare chest arts. Damn. Alright, well, link is in the description. Make sure to check it out, guys. I'll probably be playing on here a bit. It's actually really fun. It, I used to play this a lot on, on Jamian's version, which was really fun as well, so yeah. Uh, I think you guys will like it if you gave it a try. For those of you who actually like private server, like a private private server, you know, not some some freaking replicas of old school kind of shit. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.